Hello and welcome to Matrix Live. My guest today is Mr. Halfshot. You are a regular now, but for the few people who don't know you, you used to be the Bridges man. You yes. Used to, be, to an extent, because you sometimes still are. But you are not here today to talk about Bridges, but to talk about Hookshot and modules. Mm -hmm. So, um, you told me when preparing the episode, we're shipping modules in Hookshot that interact with elements to give you a very pretty room. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. So one of my dreams of Hookshot that I've had for years is the ability to like present the information in a nicer way than just a bit of text. Because you know with Hookshot on most integrations, it just shows you like some like things happened here or this has happened here. It looks, you know, it doesn't look flashy. It doesn't look like something you can click on. It's not very fun. Um, and Hookshot has been for years putting information in events. If you've ever looked at the event of a Hookshot um, message. There's tons of extra information there for a client to one day go ahead and render that information. I've wanted this for absolutely years by any client, and so far that's not happened. But as of like the last two weeks ago, I've been given the tools and the ability to do this, and I've done it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Can we see how it looks like? Uh, sure. So if I just share my screen with the magic of finding the right button <laughs> and find the right window, uh, here we go. So this is how it looks today. Um, you can see here we've got these uh, messages here at the top as normal. But you see here this really flashy looking um, like uh, event, which um, shows some colors. It shows a really nicely designed formatted thing. And what this is is um, on Open Projects, which we're using to demo this behavior. Open Project is a bit like a, a Jira open sourcey thing, um, and it's on to create a new work package. And you see at the top here there is this uh, standard hookshot bit of text. But underneath is this really flashy like uh, component that shows you what type it is, who's assigned to it. There's even a view details button here. Um, it's it's all native inside Element Web. Um, so the way this works is Hookshot provides a bunch of information about the thing natively through Matrix using the extendable JSON we all know and love. And then Element just picks this up on a very tiny little uh, JavaScript module to render this information. And then the idea is that Hookshot then provides entirely open source um, all these modules which you can plug into the web. So if you wanted extra information, but um, your client such a web doesn't want to maintain all this extra piece of code, Hookshot can now provide its own overlays and layers on top, which is super cool, because you can imagine how far this could go. Yeah, definitely. That's that's pretty cool. It's nice to see more interactive things in the, in the timeline uh, that you can play with. Um, so Hookshot is known for supporting quite a few sources. What about the modules? Uh, I can easily imagine that you don't have a module for ev everything uh, in Hookshot yet. Um, what modules does it support? Um, so right now, this is very early days, and we've kind of been sponsored to do some of this work, so we can actually um, build up this stuff. But in the future, the plans don't have this for GitHub, for GitLab, for Jira, for everything we support. Um, even possibly even our um, famous generic webhooks extension, where you can just plug in anything into Matrix. Um, all this could easily be possible. Um, it's more time the time to do it. Uh, my first steps have been basically building this out as a demo and plus documenting how it works. I'm hoping the community might pick some of these up as a nice little fun experiment because we try to make this as easy as possible. Um, but yeah, uh, we can do what we want with this. So another cool feature of widgets is actually we can also extend things in other ways. So you'll see here I've got these buttons on my uh, event too, close work package and flag work package. Um, so actually, not only can you edit things in the timeline, but a future feature which we're looking at doing is actually including more buttons in the web as well, or a feature to keep adding buttons to it. So uh, another angle is not only are we going to extend Hookshot, but we'd like to extend Element with more ways to extend to add more features as well. Um, and so, yeah, lots of things we can do with this. All right, but you keep talking about Element, and what I love about Matrix is that it's a standard and it can be reused pretty much everywhere. Um, I know that Matrix has a difficult story with widgets. They are sort of standard, but not exactly. Is this the classical widgets we are used to? Um, so this is completely different. This is the ability to put um, little JavaScript um, scripts into your uh, element client. So in some ways, it's completely different to widgets, which is that it has more, it can do everything to your client, essentially. I mean, there are limits at the moment, but the idea is this could be enabled, could enable any feature in web you'd like eventually. Um, but on the plus side, because this is all information stored inside matrix events, any other client could pull this information out. Um, and Hookshot certainly would be interested in supporting other clients. 
Um, so rather than trying to build a generic extensible scripting language in Matrix itself, which as you can imagine being Matrix bloaters is building a whole like, how do you customize your client into Matrix would be crazy. Um, we've instead going the route of individual clients can support their own sort of modules. Um, but as I say, Hookshot would be happy to support other clients. Uh, if any of the other ones want to go and uh, implement their own style of doing this, we'd easily accept contributions. All right. So does it mean that there's going to be a MSC to support that at some point? It uh, doesn't need to be for this. Um, actually, the way this is going to go is Hookshot, um, obviously, stores its own data in matrix events. Uh, we'd like to start documenting that information on Hookshot's documentation itself. So we'd actually expect that Hookshot would have its own sub-spec of events it's sending. Uh, in the sense that rather than having Matrix specify all the ways you can do GitHub events and GitLab events and Jira events in the spec and massively bloat up the event directory of like all the things you can have, Hookshot will document its own events and people can choose to use that if they wish. All right, so what about the non-web clients like Neko or Simina? Um, so yeah, that comes back to, because these are just events, they could easily implement this stuff. Um, so I'm not, I can't quite remember the new scripting support in either of those clients. Um, but I'm sure you could do a thing like an Alua equivalent or something like that. I mean, as I said, again, if someone wants to contribute something like that, we'd more happily accept it. It'd be really good fun to see like a, a text-based client or even like a TUI sort of thing that shows you like bookshot events inside your TUI. It'd be really cool. Um, happily support that sort of thing. Definitely. So you talk about contributing. Is it fair to assume that everything is open source? Everything that here is open source. Um, the Hookshot module is included inside our, it's currently in the PR, but we will be included in our Hookshot tree. Uh, the modules are all open source inside on the web. Uh, there's nothing that I've not shown you that you can just run yourself right now. Excellent. So you are open to contributions. And when we prepared the episode, you told me we have a brand new developer setup you can use. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Sure. So um, some feedback I got a little while ago was that setting up Hookshot is a bit difficult, especially if you're not a natural matrix developer. And if you're like me and you spent years working bridges, you would get tunnel vision, you go on no checkout, or get checkout, and yarn in store, and you sort of become used to it. And what I've built is a complete um, Docker Compose setup that has everything you need to get started. If you run this Docker uh, Compose setup right here, you just do a Docker Compose up, you do a complete matrix server, an element setup, a, uh, a hookshot setup, and everything you'd need to start running it. So the idea is basically you go from zero to 100 very quickly to sort of reduce developer friction. And we've also documented this on our, on our wiki, so or on our docs repo. So um, all of that is available to anyone who wants to go ahead and um, use it. Because uh, we want to try and reduce the difficulty in getting started with bridge development, especially in hookshot development. Um, and this becomes super easy at this point. Excellent. So you are open to contributions. You are trying to make the DevEx easier and, yep. and better. Um, do you have a roadmap of things you would like to be specifically interested in? Uh, yeah. So um, one of the things we had recently for a lovely set of contributors was the ability to do GitLab um, push events. Uh, and they even spent the time doing end-to-end uh, -end tests and doing all the unit tests and everything for it, which is brilliant. Um, generally speaking, we have a massive list of issues um, of, of things we'd like to have. I guess top of the line would be possibly more of these modules for other um, uh, connection types, we call them, so other services. Um, there are plenty of bugs to get working on. I, I'll be looking at encryption support or um, improving encryption uh, stability pretty soon. So that's one of the things I'm looking at. Um, we don't necessarily have a, a roadmap of things we're doing it in order. What tends to happen with me, because it's more of a, a, a part-time role for me at the moment working on Hookshot, um, I tend to do bits and pieces as they come up. Um, but generally speaking, if the community wants to work on something, I'm like over the moon and more than happy to do some reviewing for that. So uh, just pick from the issue, let's never go it, please. All right, excellent. Is there anything else the world needs to know about it? Um, please use it. Uh, please let me know the feedback. I'd love to know how, how um, people find it, whether it's a good feature or it's a bad feature, it's also good feedback. Um, uh, generally, how Hookshot's feeling, all that stuff is good. Uh, we have a room which I think is hash hookshot uh, colon uk. So uh, go to that room if you want to give your feedback. Thank you. All right. I'm going to leave a link in the description so people can join the room and give you some feedback. And with that, I think we're good for this week. And I'll see you next week, Matrix Live.